Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be making the garden bracelet. It's a nun design and you can use only three colors in this bracelet. Only if you use tie-dye jelly bands. Today I'll be using tie-dye jelly bands. Sorry about the background noise, the yelling is for me. One point video, that's so weird. So uh, each of these little balls are called a garden and I'll be making the balls. But you don't have to make like separate balls and make them on a single chain. You'll form them all together. And you'll be needing a finger loom today. You can't use your hands because your hands might get really red that make, maybe they can uh, break your arm or something. So you'll be needing a finger loom. Any type of finger loom. So like a loom can work or or you can't use your fingers. So yeah, let's get started. I'll be showing you the colors I need on this bracelet. So, sorry about the background noise a lot. And so this red part over here is gonna be this tie-dye jelly band. Sorry about the background noise because uh, homeschool is going on because coronavirus. And this is the color I'm using. Instead of the red, I'm using this tie-dye jelly band. So you see this green over here I'm pointing at? That's gonna be this pink. This orange is gonna be, if you can see this orange right over here, that's gonna be purple. And last but not least, the yellow is gonna be this dark blue. Let's get started. So first you're gonna take an outside color band, that's my tie-dye jelly. And you're gonna put it like this and, one second, twist it like this, like that. So twist it. Then you take your first color, that yellow part I was saying, I mean that orange part, it's gonna be blue, I said, right? Yeah, so you're gonna take it over here and then swing it like that, just like that. Then take your purple and you put it as the same as the blue. Oopsie, something happened. I hope it didn't happen to you. And then again, you put purple like that. Okay. Oh yeah, you'll be needing a hook. Any type of hook will work. So you take this bottom band over here. So we twisted that band, you know that band. So now you can go to one of these sides. You take the bottom band and you're just gonna put that up. Nice. The same as the other side, so you take the bottom band and you put that up. Like that. Again, you're gonna take, now you can take your green band, but I said I was gonna be using this pink over here. And you're gonna take that and you're just gonna stretch it out like that, just like the purple and the blue. So now you take the dark blue and you put that up. Again, you take the dark blue and that put it up. We're not making fish on this bracelet, so if you think we are, we're not. Okay, now this is kind of a tricky process. So you know the cap band under there? See that cap band? You're not just gonna pull it out. We are kind of pull it out like that. So you go inside. So you, so you take this, the one you just put up, these blue bands, you're gonna take one and you put it to this side like that like that now there so if we put that side over there then there's this the cap band that we pulled up there's this one band right see right over here and you're gonna pull down this one then you can leave the blue like that or i'll show you another way so you flip it over you go inside this blue band or you can just go under the blue band and get and get that band out and put it up like that. So it's just the easiest thing. Now you take the bottom purple band and then you put that up. I'm really sorry about the background noise. Again, you take the bottom purple band and you put that up. So it should be looking like this from the up and this from down. So now we're gonna be doing the red part again. So you're gonna take of the tie-dye jelly band. 
You're gonna place it just like we placed the blue and purple bands. Now you take these two bands and you're gonna pull those up. Again, you take those two bands, pull them up. Just like this. Kinda like, it kinda looks like this. Again, you're gonna take a tie-dye jelly band and you're gonna take the bottom and put that up at both sides. So, take the bottom, put it up. I'm really sorry about the background noise at my door. I know something's happening. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that process again. So you're gonna take your dark blue, place it normally. Okay, you're gonna take your purple and place it normally. Take the bottom B and put it up. Again, do the other thing at the same side. Now you take your pink and you put it straightly just like the blue and purple. So you do the blue band, put that up. Again, take the blue band and put that up. So now you go inside the blue band. You can't just go up there and get that band. You always have to go like inside here. Oopsie, and get that band. You're gonna pull it up. And again, you flip over. So you kinda and then you put it, oopsie. Why did I put it up on one side? And then you leave this band. And then you take the bottom purple and put that up. And then you take the bottom purple and put that up. It should be looking like this. I'm gonna stretch it. It should be looking like this. Take a tie dye jelly bean. Take those bottom two bands and you're gonna put that up. Take those bottom two bands, oopsie, and put that up like that. Again, you're gonna take another band, a tie-dye jelly, and you put it normally, and you take the bottom band, put that up. And guys, there is a way to form this on a hook, but it's really hard. So this is the process and it's kind of looking like this bracelet, like the garter bracelet. But this is actually called the moonlight bracelet because I'm making it in moonlight colors. So guys, if you didn't get the process fully, then go back and rewind the video. I will be doing this on fast mode because it's an easy process. And so going on to fast mode. Go, guys, I'm back and I formed the bracelet and you should have ended it by putting the, you take a band and you put the other sides up and it should be looking like this. So I did eight, um, I mean, what are those called? Gardens. I did eight gardens and cause that fits my size and if you're eight years old, maybe it'll fit your size. So I just wanted to tell you how to end this up. You'll be needing a C-clip or you can use any type of clip that just holds a bracelet together. So you should look like this. So you're gonna flip over your thing and the bracelet should be like that. Sorry about the background noise. And you pull, so there's these two white bands or the tie-dye jelly. And you pull it inside that tie dye jelly. Take it and pull it through that tie dye jelly. And you keep it like that. So now I'll end it up by I'm gonna be not using a like um, any C clip or S clip today. I will just be using a band to tie it up. Just slip knot it. So you take your hook and the other side's on that. So you can take one side off, again, the other side off, like this, you're looking like this, 
how I'm gonna do it is you can um you can just put your C or S clip on it immediately and stop the video, but I'm gonna take a band and you pull it through everything mostly. Everything. Take put it back and I'm just gonna slip knot it by taking the first one. Kinda put it in inside. And that's your bracelet and if you and that's it. And that's how you form the bracelet. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. Mine kind of popped, but this is how you formed it. I'll still be using this bracelet a lot. I love this bracelet. It's the most designed. And I made it, so if you search it up on Google, you won't find it. And each side has a gardener. So thank you for watching. Subscribe and like this video. Goodbye.